the 2020 Matchroom Live Northern Ireland Open champion Judd Trump just beaten Ronnie O'Sullivan 9-7 again in the final. First of all, Judd, how are you feeling? Delighted. Um, it was a tough game. I, I felt confident. Uh, um, at 8-5, I felt like I was going to get chances. Um, and it, that didn't happen. Um, I played a couple of bad safeties. Um, he forced me into a, a, a couple of errors. And before I knew it, it was 8-7, uh, looking like 8 all. And I'm thinking, am I even going to get a chance to win the match? And um, luckily for me, he just rattled that ball in the middle pocket and uh, I made a, a brilliant clearance. It was up there with one, one of the best, best clearances I've made. Yeah, got to agree with that. It, it looked a scrappy game at the start. Certainly a very tense, very tight game until the end of the first session and the quality of both of you started to really shine through. Did it feel like that out there on the table? It was tough, um, especially with, with sort of Ronnie carrying on at the end of the frames as well. It was difficult to get any momentum. The game was slow. The balls were going safe as well. So normally you, you just get those frames over and done with. But because he was carrying on, it was making things just a bit tricky, a bit awkward. And, and we were both sort of struggling to get any momentum. Um, and then it wasn't until I think the, the last two frames of that session, we both made a couple of centuries and then Tonight the standard was really good. It was just sort of one visit every single frame. So, I mean, it, it took a while to get going, but towards the end it was a real top standard. And it certainly was. You mentioned Ronnie playing on there at the end of frames. What do you make of that? He said that he's doing it to get practice in. Um, do you think it is that, or do you think it's, there's some unsettling going on? Um, it's just so hard to guess what's going on through his head, isn't it? It's, I, I have no idea, I have no idea. But just I, I, I've seen him doing it throughout the tournament so I knew what to expect I knew not to um, be worried by it or, or get flustered by it so I just took it as it was it just used it as a bit more practice for myself as well and that is three successive Northern Ireland Open wins bizarrely all three of them 9-7 we talked about that last night and we thought it could never happen but it has done the last person to do three successive ranking event wins was Henry back in the mid 90s is it important to you that you're getting in brackets with names like that now yeah, it's incredible because I think last season I had the chance to, to win the, the three big um, BBC events and be, I think, the first p person since Henry in that one as well. So I'm giving myself shots at, at these records that haven't been done for sort of 20, 25 years. So it just shows how hard they are. And um, I mean, my record against Ronnie, I can't imagine anyone else in the history of the game even getting close to the record I've got against him in finals. So. I mean, to have a winning record, I think, what it is, 6 3, seven, three now is absolutely incredible to probably the best player that's ever lived. Um, and I've got a record like that against him. Yeah, I wanted to touch on that, actually. Obviously, he took your world crown. Um, you're still the world number one. So it was world number one against the world champion for the first time. Was it psychologically really important to beat him today? And does it feel like there is a shift and maybe that crown is being handed over? Um, it's, it's tough really because world champion is obviously the, the biggest tournament in our sport, is an amazing achievement, but I mean, it, it's, it's, one, it's one tournament over a whole season and um, I won six events last year, none of the world championship, but I mean, every, every tournament for me is the same. The world championship is obviously a little bit more difficult, but I still put myself up there as is the, the one to beat, even though he is the world champion, because it just shows my level of consistency and how far I am in front in the rankings to, to keep doing it over and over again. So it, it's nice now that we've kind of got that matchup as well, though, that he is the world champion, I am the world number one. Um, it, it's nice for everyone in the sport to be able to build it up as a, as a massive event. And every time we play each other nowadays, it is a massive event. It certainly is. That's after your English Open win, we, we joked that you did six ranking events last season. Could you do seven this time? You're now on two. There's three more before Christmas. That's, that could be done. I, I could have been on three. Kyron played incredible in, in the other ranking one. So, I mean, yeah, it would be, be on my wildest dreams really to win two already. Um, I mean, I think I've reached the, the quarterfinal of the last seven, eight, nine events. So it just shows the consistency. I've reached the semifinal every event this, this year or better. Um, I mean, sooner or later, um, it's going to come a time where you, you take a tough loss like I did last year in the UK. Um, and you've just got to not beat yourself up about it. Um, at the end of the day, it, it happens to everyone. You can't keep winning all the time, but 
I'll be giving it my all. I'll be going away practicing every single day now up until the UK to try and get ready for that one. It's tough to continually play well. You're going to get bad games now and again. Um, Mark Allen beat me quite convincingly. And, and, and for me, some people might think it's weird, but it's quite nice to get beat heavily now and again because it just shows you need to go away and improve. And, and that's what I do when I take these bad losses. I go away, it makes me work harder and, and realise I'm not unbeatable and I've got to work hard at my game as well. And you've got the secret weapon. How's the lucky chalk holding up? Oh, it's, it's not got many games left. It's coming to the end of his um, of his uh, of his life. Um, I might try and last out for the UK, but I don't think it's going to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Legend. Well done again this week. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you.